Hello everyone, welcome back to Command Conquer Tabarum Alliances. And this time we're actually going to do some more fighting. We did do the one tutorial fight, but we didn't actually destroy the entire camp. So we are going to try and do that again. For this episode here, you are going to get a post commentary because for some reason my microphone didn't record, but that doesn't really matter all that much. It does allow me to focus a little bit more on the commentary and share my thoughts on this game here. This game here is essentially what you would expect. So we do have do a few resources. You do use your resources to get upgrades and stuff, and the stuff gets you more stuff to get more resources. So it's mostly self-serving. There are, no, from what I know, there are no real missions here. There are some of these side missions, but they're just tutorial stuff, and they just guide you through the game. But once you've done that, there seems to be a little purpose. You can attack other players, but even then, there's no real, uh, there's no end game, from what I can tell. Uh, maybe there is. Maybe there's like browser events or whatnot, but. Yeah, I did a little bit of research here, I couldn't really find all that much, but this game is fairly old already, it's now almost five years old, actually more, or oh, maybe more than six years old, and maybe I just missed some sort, but to be honest, I, I don't really care, so it's a, it's a browser game overall, I don't really play many of those, and it's not only that, it's essentially a waiting game, and you can of course play real money to, to stop the wait, but there's no real reward, it's not like a I buy some DLC and then I get a new level, new missions, or what, uh, character skins or whatnot. I still don't really like that. I generally don't buy a DLC unless it's a full-fledged expansion, or I do buy it as part of a game of the year or whatever package. But yeah, never mind that. So we do have yeah, these supply packages here. You, you can get various stuff with those. They are kind of a one-time thing, so... You don't continuously end those. There's no supply, like supply a base for that. Uh, from what I know, there could be. I did move my units to the very left here, just so I could actually destroy the base and not just make a raid on it. And I also bought this this pit bull here. So we did research the pit bull. Let's upgrade the pit bull. The pit bull is pretty good against buildings apparently. And yeah, the the cost for everything raises pretty quickly. So you have two choices: you can either wait forever or you can play real money. So it's not. It doesn't quite seem to be as bad as. Dungeon Keeper Mobile, but uh, I mean that's that's damning with faint praise, is it not? We do have these mutants here, but they're only second level, and they will they will fall very quickly. Even if they were way higher, not much would be happening here. I didn't really pay much attention to how the ba base layout or the the map layout here works, with buildings indicated in the north. But it doesn't matter. By by sheer coincidence, this happened to place everybody correctly. We have this tar pit here in addition to the water stuff. It doesn't really matter. Let's just mow down these guys. They have no chance. They probably probably last as long as and now we now we even roll all the corpses. They last as long as actual people would last against the minigun, so there we go. Also, these buildings here they just melt away. And we even get transported out, isn't that great? So this is a total victory because everyone got eliminated and everybody's dead. Yeah, the plot here is a little bit odd. I'm not quite sure when this is supposed to be play take place. I guess it has to take place between Either Tiberian's son and Wars, or between Wars and T and Twilight. It should take place before Tiberian Wars because the Tacitus is in GDI hands. After well, it's actually it's in GDI hands after Tiberian's son. Then apparently the Forgotten got it. Then it's in GDI hands again. Then it's in Kane's hand. At the <laughs> and like this replay here, so you can just skip to the end. Then the units just zoom away. That's that's kind of fun. It's kind of funny, I suppose. Yeah, I guess it's it takes place during that time. It doesn't really matter. I'm not quite sure whether this it's best for or whether it's canon. But this game doesn't really have a real story apart from the intro blurb anyway. So I suppose that doesn't really matter either. Overall, I see what this game is supposed to be, but it's just a game with some One Conquer Three voice clips and music slapped on. The art style is not actually that bad. It seems to be hand drawn, like 2D ish. But it feels kind of tile-based and slapped together, and reminds me of a uh, of like games that were made around the turn of the millennium. Here I've got more tar pits or whatever that is, or maybe some ash, or maybe really dirty water. Who knows? It doesn't really matter. We're going to raid this base again, or this camp. You do need command points for that, but we have plenty, so it doesn't really matter. And we're pretty much going to kill everything they have, I think, yeah, we, we can reach everything. And everything's going to melt away. There's a mutant hovel, which is actually the HQ, but it looks like a hovel, but never mind. 
those were the hovels, actual hovels were built by GDI, so I'm not quite sure why they are here, but maybe GDI built some in the Tiberium wastelands, in the wastes of the wastelands to start the introduction here as well. Or maybe they just didn't think about it all that much and just copied the art style, which probably isn't the best thing because it's very consistent with the Command Conquer Tiberium Wars art style. Yeah, we do have no resource planet here. I'm not quite sure how you plunder stuff, maybe when you attack a knob or just a general enemy base. Yeah, not quite sure about that, but again, it doesn't really matter all that much. I'm not quite sure how much this game depends on other players being online as well. There seem to be a lot of free slots. And I guess if you want to attack other players, they need to be there, well, obviously. Well, maybe they don't. I guess if their base is still there with defense and everything, then we can... Then we, we can just attack them as well when while they're offline. I suppose so. Otherwise, it wouldn't really work. You'd have to wait until everyone is online. That, that wouldn't really work like that. Yeah, this is almost all I have to say about this. We do attack this other camp here as well. Let's place our units in a way that we will definitely roll over the units and... The buildings, I guess we didn't really need to kill the units because once we kill the construction yard or their HQ, they're all doomed anyway. But since we're so much stronger than the mutants, we may as well do that. May we not. So let's roll over, over those guys. These guys are obviously weak. When you're attacking other players, will be different. Uh, that is to be expected. And there's their... Actually, that is their HQ. No, it's not. That's their... It's kind of a HQ. This build, this game has too many buildings. There's like a defense HQ and a defense facility. And I'm not quite sure what the difference is. I just know you need both of them. And they just evacuated that guy, but that's all right. You are victorious. And we were victorious, even though we didn't quite kill that one building. But I guess it's because we ran out of ammunition. I should have paid attention to that. Also, there's a cool laser tank here, but we don't have that. I used to get that later if you just wait longer. Or you pay real money, but... Yeah, I'm not going to do that. There's just no way that's going to happen. At least this is free to play, so I don't have to pay any money initially to it, to to play it. So otherwise, I mean, let's face it, if this, this would cost money additionally, nobody would get it. This may, in a certain way, this is probably the worst Command & Conquer game. Yeah, I'd say this is worse than Tiberium Wars Mobile, which I think is the, the worst game otherwise. Yeah, I think that's worse than Command & Conquer 4. Command Conquer 4, you could say it's the worst main game, but I mean, compared to the mobile games and maybe the Command Conquer Attack so Chopper Flash, Flash game, which is kind of a, I guess you call it a licensed game or whatever. I guess, to be honest, I would say Command Conquer Combat Cards better, so that's that's your obscure Command Conquer game reference. Yeah, we do have the defense facility here. I guess I could read the actual descriptions to find out what, what the hell those are good for, but never mind. For defense, obviously, but what the difference is. One of them is also the Pentagon, that's good to know, and one of them is the Command Conquer Tiberian Sun, the, the communication center. Not really, but it looks a little bit like a mix between the construction yard and the communication center. I still can't get over the fact they call, call green Tiberian crystals just Tiberium, the other one's just crystals, even though they're both crystals, obviously. This calls them blue and green Tiberium, but this game already has too many resources, so I guess they try to streamline it a little bit. I'm just going to put this random wall segment here, and then an MG nest, because why not? And then we have to build a whole bunch of of those. Not much of a problem. It's just a bit tedious here, but at least we do have enough resources. I, I didn't bother with alliances and stuff. Yeah, just skip the alliances and stuff in the game that's called alliances. Also, these wall segments, I'm pretty sure they don't connect properly. If you place them, what bothers me? It doesn't bother... Actually, they do connect, so I'll take that back. What did bother me in... In Command Conquer, the original Command Conquer and Red Alert was that when you place a wall segment and you didn't didn't put a four by four square segment of walls there, they, the ends would be kind of blunt and it, it looked ugly, and I never liked that. But you can fix that by putting two more wall segments next to the two end ones. Like the, it's done for the AI bases. That looks a way prettier. And I also always like that you can connect your own walls to AI walls, which is nice. And occasionally you can also just sell your walls in the beginning. Or you can do that in the Croatia mission in Tiberium Wars. Which I never tend to do because I kind of forget about it. Especially because you can't build walls in the game except if you use the wall mod. But I didn't do that because I don't really care for walls all that much. And it can be, since the AI doesn't really react to the walls much, in some missions the walls can be really helpful and it's borderline cheating to use them. Well, I guess could argue because it's something 
you're not usually supposed to use it's cheating, but I, I don't really care. Anyway, there will be a, a mutant force attacking us because reports say a problem with the protection shield caused a group of forgotten to slip through and they're heading this way. The problem has already been corrected, so you will need to upgrade your defensive position to be prepared for the unplanned visitors, which isn't much of a problem, it's just more mutant infantry. I didn't didn't quite get what upgrade your defense level uh, meant until I saw the defense level counter in the corner which I overlooked because there's just too much stuff on the screen and you upgrade that by just upgrading your walls and MG nests and then you, you just your overall defense stuff does increase. At first I thought it just meant that I had to have one defense at level 5 but that wasn't the case but at the end of the day who cares. At least we do have enough resources. We have I guess the only bottleneck we have is Tiberium. I guess I could have just built more harvesters there, but didn't really think about that. And I, I think at the beginning, at least collecting the rewards for whatever you have there is is better. And at least upgrading this stuff here costs almost nothing, even though, well, I say that and then the cost just increases quite quickly. So there's that. But anyway, let's just upgrade more of this stuff here. And yep, more of that. And then, it, I guess, it, I don't know what the exact math behind it is, but you do get this calculation here. And then they, they just, that was a great sentence. Then they just increase your overall defense rate, which I guess is fair, so it does give you an indicator. Of course, you could have like a 47th level wall somewhere in the corner and then have defense level of, of 100. I don't know, maybe it doesn't work like that. Probably doesn't, but never mind. Or maybe it's just the average level of everything you have that could be the case as well. I guess I guess that that probably is is it. Now that I think about it for a minute, maybe it's not because we actually have several things that are not on level five. These guys here they look very enthusiastic, and they seem to be the uh, mutant sergeant from Tiberian Sun. At least they're, they're dual wielding stuff, or they have have sticks. I'm not quite sure. Or they're Jack McNeil, who used the same infantry model. Anyway, so I'm going to gun those guys down. Should build them G nest further to the south, so I could have killed those guys before they even attacked me, because they were slowed down. And those guys just saw their friends die, so they're just saying, "Oh, I'm going to avenge them." I guess the shield's up, so the defense shield, which was never mentioned before, and something tells me it will not be mentioned again, since that one was uh, was up again. I guess I can't escape it, so the only way is forward. And now they're all dead, as they should be. Because if this game told us something, it's to hate mutants. Never quite got by not hate mutants. I mean, they are they're more tiberium than ever before. Also, we have this cool this cooldown here, so we can't really do anything until it's over. Uh, that's pretty much the killer. I mean, if we have to wait for resources, it's one thing. But if it is, they just outright say, "Oh, you can't do anything because you can't do anything," that's even cheaper. I guess maybe if I, I can buy my way out of that, but let's face it, that's that's just not going to happen. So yeah, I think. I think we're done here. I might play as not, or maybe not. I'm not, I'm not going to make any promises, let's put it that way. Thanks for watching, and see you next time in whatever. Take care, goodbye.